Welcome to the Ultimate Valheim Fishing Guide. With the Mistlands update releasing, Valheim's fishing has had a complete overhaul, introducing a total of 12 different fish species and 9 different baits, all unique to their own biome. But staring into the deep blue waiting for a fish to bite can certainly put some strain on your eyes. If you're anything like me, spending long hours staring at a screen while gaming or editing has a direct impact on eye strain, headaches, and even vision loss. There was even a point where I had to wear an eye patch because it was getting so bad. Luckily, that's when I tried out a pair of blue light blocking glasses by GMG Performance, which do exactly what you'd expect them to. These glasses effectively act as a shield in protecting your eyes from that harmful blue light. As a result, they help reduce eye strain, improve concentration, and maintain the quality of your vision long term. In addition to all of that, they're extremely comfortable and look good too. I've personally been wearing the Optimizer model and they felt amazing. They're comfortable over long hours and they've made my time in front of a screen that much more enjoyable. If you want your very own pair, then head to the top link in the description and get 40% off until January 28th. There are a variety of styles to choose from and if you care about protecting your eyes, then you can't miss it. Thanks again to GMG Performance for sponsoring today's video. Now, it's time to get a fishing rod. Acquiring a fishing rod in Valheim is possible via two different methods. Buying one from the trader, granted you found him and have enough gold, or finding one in a frost cave like this. Keep in mind that not every frost cave has a room like this, and it's actually a pretty rare find. And by rare, I mean that I explored 16 other frost caves before finding this one. But to prevent you from going through that same treachery, here's the seed that I use for this world. And this cave is actually quite close to spawn, located just southeast. Now that you have a fishing rod, you'll need some bait. And although you get some with the fishing rod in the cave, it's not really enough. The easiest bait to acquire is the normal bait, formerly the only bait available prior to the Mistlands update. It's purchased from the trader for 10 gold for every 50 pieces. And this is the only way to acquire this bait as it is not craftable. Now, before we get to the other baits and the mechanics behind fishing, let's talk about the different fish species that exist within Valheim. Like I mentioned earlier, there are 12 different species of fish, each of which can be found in a particular biome. We have perch, pike, tuna, trollfish, coral cod, giant herring, tetra, grouper, pufferfish, anglerfish, magmafish, and the northern salmon. So you'll have to go exploring if you want to catch every fish. And this leads us over to our next topic, which is bait types. There are nine different bait types, one for each of the existing biomes, with the exception of the meadows, black forest, and plains, which have more than one usable bait type. But this is just in reference to the fish species that can be found in multiple biomes. Much like the rest of Valheim, fishing now works around a progression-based system, with respect to their crafting recipes. As previously mentioned, the normal fishing bait is bought from the trader, which is the only way to obtain it. As for the rest, they must all be crafted by you. And this is where the progression system comes into play, because every craftable fishing bait requires a fish caught by the previous bait as an ingredient in its recipe. Okay, I know, that's a whole handful of stuff to comprehend. So, let me illustrate an example. This is the very first bait you can acquire, bought from the trader. This bait catches perch, which can be located in the meadows. This perch is now used as an ingredient to craft the next bait in line, which in this case is mossy bait. And so the cycle continues. All baits aside from the first one are crafted at the cauldron, which only needs to be level 1. And each bait requires a particular creature trophy, so this is perfect for those of you who have been hoarding trophies all this time like me. Don't ask why. Now it's finally time to get into the actual mechanics of fishing. Of course, have your rod, bait, and head out to the coast. From my knowledge, fishing in Valheim is actually based on the fish you see, especially in shallow waters on the coast. If you see fish, then that's the perfect spot to dip in your line. If not, it's still possible to attract fish to that area, but you'll have to be much more patient. So you might want to keep moving until you do see some. But this is only true for waters that are clear and near the coast. 
Obviously, if you're out in the ocean or swamp where waters are deeper or murkier, your chance of seeing fish is much lower, but they could still be around. Anyways, now that you've got your spot, it's time to cast your rod. Equip your bait of choice by right-clicking on it, then hold left-click to cast. The longer you hold, the further out you'll cast. Now just wait for a bite. You'll see a splash and your barber will also dip down when you get one. Then hit right-click to hook the fish. Once you've got it hooked, hold right-click to reel it in. Your stamina will begin to deplete as you reel in your fish. If your stamina drains down to zero before you reel it in all the way, you'll lose the fish. So it's a good idea to eat foods with a high stamina value when fishing. If you've managed to reel the fish in close enough, you'll be able to grab it with the interact key, or simply keep reeling and it will be added to your inventory automatically. So you've caught your first fish. Before we talk about what we can do with that fish, let's go through some bonus tips that will help you maintain your success. Tip number one. Unlike most tools, the fishing rod doesn't have durability, but each cast you make will consume one bait, whether the fish takes it or not. So keep that in mind if you ever find yourself running low. Tip number two, reeling in bigger fish will actually drain more stamina. This is true for both the individual species of fish, meaning a perch is much easier to reel in compared to a northern salmon, and it's also true depending on the level variance of each individual fish, and I'll be talking more about that in a second. Tip number three, reeling in without a fish on does not consume stamina. So if you ever feel like you've overcasted, don't hesitate to reel your line back into the perfect spot. Tip number four, if you're ever close to reeling in a fish but also on the brink of stamina loss, simply walk further inland. The rod has some resistance and will bring the fish in with it, making for an easy catch. Tip number five, fish are responsive to character movement and will swim away although this doesn't seem to have a great effect on getting bites. Tip number six, fish cannot be directly attacked or gathered using any other tools or weapons apart from the fishing rod. However, fish can sometimes become stuck on land naturally from high tides or jumping, or unnaturally with some clever hoe work. This allows for an easy catch without even having fishing gear. Tip number seven, fish are passive creatures and will not attack you or other creatures except for this guy, the pufferfish. The pufferfish is the only fish that can damage you by inflicting poison damage upon you if in range, so watch out for that. Tip number eight, probably the most unique fishing technique in Valheim, trolling. And no, it, it's still not that kind of troll. When on the boat, you can cast out your line and then hop on the rudder. You'll still have the ability to reel in your line while also having full functionality of the boat. Just keep in mind that the line on the rod can break, so if the boat ever gains too much speed, your line could potentially snap. The same goes for casting length. If you cast too far, you likely won't have enough stamina to reel all the way back in. Or you simply won't be able to reel faster than the speed you're traveling at. Don't worry too much though, the line breaking won't impact your rod in any way, it will just reset that particular cast. And if you didn't know, fishing was added in as a character skill. The more you level this up, the faster you'll reel in your fish, and the slower your stamina will drain. Speaking of stamina, you can also drink stamina meads while fishing, useful if you ever need that extra boost of energy. Lastly, fish in Valheim are actually incredibly good at holding their breath, or uh, I mean clenching their gills. Keeping a fish in your inventory or stowed away in a chest for days, weeks, or even months will do nothing to suppress their unrelenting ambition to get back into the water. So once you do finally reintroduce them to their home liquid, they'll be swimming about as happy as ever. Now on to the last two topics. If you do choose to keep it, what can you do with your newly acquired fish? The first option is to mount your prized catch on an item stand. This can be used as decoration around the house or simply to show off your fishing prowess. Keep in mind the pesky puffer fish will still inflict its poison damage when mounted. And every now and then, you might even hear a little murmur from your aquatic captives. Uh, fr friends. See, I told you they were still alive. Well, until now, because our last topic involves fish yields and cooking recipes. Fish can be processed at the cauldron into raw fish, which can then be cooked or further processed into two potential recipes. I'll get to that in just a sec. Each fish, relative to its rarity, will yield a different amount of raw fish. You'll notice that each fish in your inventory will have a different number indicator in the top right of their inventory box. This number represents the level of that particular fish, and this is what determines the amount of raw fish each one yields. Level 1 yielding 1 fish, level 2 yielding 4 fish, level 3 yielding 7 fish, 
and level 4 yielding 10 fish. And I can confirm that a level 4 fish is the highest level fish you can find, as I tried spawning higher levels with the console commands, but to no avail. For the moment, different fish species don't yield different amounts of raw fish, despite their differences in size. I assume this will be worked on in the future, but for the moment, fish levels are the only factor that influences yield amount. Once you have your raw fish, you can cook them up on either a regular cooking station or on an iron cooking station. Cooked fish can be eaten as is, which will provide 45 health and 15 stamina. Or they can be further processed at the cauldron with barley flour to make fish wraps, which provides 70 health and 23 stamina. The last recipe on the menu doesn't actually involve raw fish, but it very specifically requires an angler fish along with two pieces of bread dough to make an uncooked fish and bread, which can then be thrown into the oven to bake. And with that, I think we can close it out. Well then, that wraps up my ultimate fishing guide for Valheim in 2023. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and consider subscribing. Leave a comment letting me know how you liked this fishing guide and if there was anything I missed. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.